for this video, we're going to have a look at imaging the jejunal or cranial mesenteric lymph nodes. These are the other set of lymph nodes that are readily visible in most dogs with, with a little bit of practice and some new ultrasound equipment. The other lymph nodes uh, that we can sometimes find in the body are variably present uh, and often, if they're not reactive, can be impossible to see due to their small size and their similar echogenicity to, to the surrounding tissues. There are broadly speaking two ways people tend to image the mesenteric or uh, jejunal lymph nodes. Either when they're doing their mid-abdomen uh, grid search pattern to look for small intestine, they kind of stumble upon, upon them, either recognizing them or not, depending on, on whether they're used to scanning them. Or there's a more logical approach where you actually follow anatomical uh, and specifically vascular landmarks to try to locate those vessels. For the, for the purposes of these, this video, what we're going to do is try and have a look at the logical approach. So we'll find the, the anatomical landmark, which really is the uh, mesenteric vasculature. And then we'll look for the, those mesenteric lymph nodes from, from there. So to start, we're going to find our left kidney, as we've done before. And if you're not sure about finding the left kidney, then please do uh, have a look at our, our uh, previous video on, on how to image the left kidney. Once you've found the left kidney in longitudinal plane, that we've got on the screen there, what we're going to do is then slide our probe, physically slide it down the body wall ventrally, just off the ventral border of the kidney, the left kidney. And what we're looking at then here, so there's the kidney just coming off, and we're now into the, the roots of the mesentery. And you can see uh, on the screen here, if I pause that just here, you can see just below these loops of small intestine, we've got a, a mesenteric blood vessel creeping into the screen. And what we can do now is just have a little bit of a look around in this region. There we see again we've got another mesenteric vessel just below that loop of intestine where you can see the peristaltic wave passing. And if we just keep fanning up and down around here just to hunt down uh, a vessel and what we're looking for is for, to find the lymph nodes we're looking for uh, a uh, elongated or fusiform structure lying parallel to the blood vessel, usually along either side of the blood vessels, with similar echogenicity to the surrounding mesentery. Um, so it's just really a very okay. So it's just a case of having a having a hunt around to try to find these these vascular structures. If you've got an overweight dog or there is an awful lot of intestinal gas then you can find sometimes it can be quite difficult to locate these structures. And you can tell in this dog, we've got a little bit of intestinal gas here that's, that's just getting in the way. So here we are, we can see on the screen here, we have one uh, mesenteric blood vessel, and then just above it on the screen, so slightly to the left of it in the dog, <clears throat> we can also see uh, a mesenteric lymph node. And it can be, uh, well, this image shows how difficult it can be to spot the mesenteric lymph nodes. You can also see that they can appear a little bit like blood vessels. And if you're unsure if your machine is capable of uh, using color Doppler, then you can just to verify, you can put color Doppler on and just a little bit of fanning, we can see the structure there at the bottom of those two has uh, color flow within it. Uh, so that's a, a vessel, but if I take color off, then we can see the, the structure above it there, which didn't have any flow in it, we can make out as being a lymph node. If I freeze that, again, it just, just highlights how tricky they can be to see. And it can take some while to find these, but what we're looking for is those mesenteric vessels. So just to run through that one more time then, what we're gonna do is start with our probe in longitudinal section, longitudinal plane, we're gonna find the left kidney, and then we're going to slide ventrally off the left kidney till we start just picking up those vessels there. You can just make out one at the top of the screen here. And then we're just going to have a look around following these vessels, trying to find there's another example of one we just picked up there quite nicely now at the top of the screen so we've picked up a vessel and just lying along the top of it we have that slightly uh, hypoechoic fusiform shaped structure uh, which is which is the jejunal lymph node and if we're not convinced then we can pop color on pop our doppler see that we've got flow in the bottom of those two structures but no flow in the upper one and if i freeze that then we can see reasonably nicely there that mesenteric or jejunal lymph node highlighted. Just bear in mind, as I've said before, if you have an obese dog, we have a, a, a relatively basic ultrasound machine, you may find it an awful lot more tricky to see these structures. 